For those of you who are born under the influence of the rooster, 2017 has been a quite an interesting for you with a lot of opportunities. Now, had you taken a really proactive role in the year before, then 2018, you can just continue on the momentum. Now, had you not pursued your goals, your dreams, or started your campaign or projects in the year 2017, then 2018, the opportunities for rooster might be a little bit lesser than the year before. First of all, rooster and dog is like a chicken and dog, you know, fighting with each other. There are a lot of hassles and challenges. But not to worry, not every animal sign is bad. And don't forget that in your destiny chart, you could have more than one animal sign. But nevertheless, let's have a look at what's in store for the rooster. If you have rooster in your destiny chart and what are the opportunities that are there and what are the challenges so that you can plan the year ahead. Now, in 2018, take note, if you have rooster, you only have one sort of moderate a positive start known as surpassing path. Surpassing path is a good start for career. That means in 2018, there will be some career related roles, not opportunities, roles or campaigns or projects or things that you need to do that somewhat will lead to new rewards, but you don't see it at first. That's why it's known as surpassing path. So which means there are a lot of situations where that is disguised as new workload, new challenges, new or problems, but actually at the end of the day, it actually is good for you. That's what it means by surpassing path. It's actually a path that doesn't look so great, but at the end is good. So for those of you who are born with the rooster in your chart and you're not adventurous, you don't like new challenges, you don't like problems and you don't like stress, Obviously, when these things appears in your life, you will say no to it. And because you say no to it, it becomes a challenging year for you because you lost an opportunity. So if these things appear for you, you might want to consider, you know, what are your next steps? Do you want to take this risk? I think it is important that to understand it doesn't mean there's no pain along this path. There's no challenges. There will be. But at the end of the tunnel, there will be light. Okay, so think about that. You might want to consider being a bit more proactive. Now, for those of you with rooster in the chart, you do have these three negative stars. Now, not to worry because there's always ways to overcome it if you plan ahead, but at least hear me out first, right? The first one is called six harms. The six harms is between the rooster and the dog, which indicates a lot of annoyances, challenges, problems, like a rooster and a dog barking at each other, okay? So it creates chaos, uh, noise, you know, problems, arguments and disputes. That's what the six harms is about. It's about your friends, for example, who's supposed to be helping you out, but at the end of the day, instead of helping you out, gave you more problems, challenges and issues. So six harms does indicates that the original partnership may actually turn up to be a disaster and or the original agreement, which you have planned, actually didn't work out the way you wanted to plan. So one of the things that you can consider in 2018 is don't over plan. Sometimes the next right step is more important than trying to think about the next five or 10 steps ahead. So that way you reduce the impact of the six harms. And also don't depend too much on your partner or your co-founder or your friends, because if you depend on them to carry out something for you and then they don't do it to your specifications or don't do it the way that you want to do it, then you feel really disappointed. So that's what the six harms mean. Now, here's the start that you do need to pay attention to. That's called the sickness charm. The sickness charm does indicate illness, this indicates uh, health problems or health hazards. So if you already have some challenges from the year before, then 2018, this problem might escalate. So what you need to do is you need to go and check with the doctors, you need to make sure that you have to do your health checkups, do whatever scans you need to scan and take precautions. And here's another thing you can do, at least try to avoid using the West sector or sleeping in the West sector in your house because the West sector in 2018 is the illness sector for the year. So as long as you're not in the West area of your house, take a compass and measure from the center of your house where the West area is, avoid the illness star from that area, then you will have already reduced the impact of the illness star. Now, the heavenly consumer, this is a star that represents block opportunities. So it means that if you're trying to open up new markets, trying to volunteer yourself for a role, trying to tender for a big job, you might be concealed from attention. On the other hand, one of the good things about this negative star is that a lot of big, big issues and problems can also bypass you. So, you know, opportunities may bypass you, but so will the problems. That's what concealment basically means. So it's one of those years that it's great to keep a low profile. It's also great to actually take stock in what you already have. You know, sometimes gratitude can actually resolve all these problems. Sometimes about knowing what you have, count your blessings instead of counting what you don't have.
So don't worry too much about the heavily concealment. It is not a major negative star. It just means that, you know, people don't take notice of you, okay? So now, remember the rooster can appear in different sections of your chart. It can appear in the year, month, day, and hour, and it all means different things. In order for you to get the full reading, make sure you go on to joeyup.com 2018 to download your full chart and also download the Triver's Guide. Remember, just because you have one animal sign that's not so good in your chart, you can check what other signs you have and then focus on the good in your chart because there's always something that is great and sometimes there are certain challenges in different aspects of your life. Go to joeyup.com 2018, print and plot your chart. Now, if the rooster appears in your year, it does mean that your market condition, your industry, maybe you're trying to look for a new job, you can't find one, trying to find a new partner, can't find one, trying to find you know, new funding and you can't find one because the heavenly concealment is that. So, and also be, do be careful working together with close friends. Sometimes working with close friends is harder than working with strangers. So that's what it means. Now, if the rooster appears in the month in terms of your work, and if you're thinking about trying to get that new job role and all that, what you try to get, you don't get, what is disguised as a problem might actually be the opportunity. So remember that. What actually looks great on the outside, it's usually not the good thing. What actually looks like it's a problem might actually hide an opportunity because you have surpassing path as the good start. So in terms of your work, Pay attention to that. If you're born in the month of September 7 to October 7, you have rooster in the month of birth. Now, if it is on the day, you might want to take note of your personal health and or take note of your personal relationships. Sometimes there might be challenges along the way in terms of relationship. Remember, surpassing path hides opportunities in problems. Whereas something you see, oh, like a great opportunity or suddenly a third party appeared, you know, and you're already married, be sure to say no to it because something that looks good might actually be bad in 2018. Do be careful of peach blossom related issues. And of course, if you have rooster in the hour pillar, well, the hour pillar represents investment opportunities. And since this here is challenging for 2018, you have heavenly concealment. So 2018 might not be a great year for you to acquire properties or buy new investments, stuff like that. You gotta be very, very careful. And if you really, 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 really have to look for them, do look at those that don't seem to look so great on the outside, but upon deeper study, you might uncover an opportunity. Now again, if you want to learn more about your destiny chart, you see the link joeyup.com 2018. Click on this link right now and go and download your free driver's guide for 2018. It's there available for limited time only. And if you would like to learn more, click on this and you will learn everything that you need to know for 2018. So I hope that you have enjoyed this forecast for those of you rooster in your chart and know what to do for the year. And I wish you a fantastic, happy and healthy 2018.